Hi, Capricorn. It's Tuesday. We're going to do your reading real quick. So, um, wow. I just, I keep going through these cards. I keep getting the same thing. I'll tell you what we're, I don't have showing here, but I feel really strong, which will probably come out. This tower card is extremely strong. The tower is something, some great upheaval, something come crashing down. It is regarding some sort of truth and clarity about something new or, um, it's, I feel like a, like a slash through a false pretense or mask. And then the star card is very, very strong, pulling very, very strong energy, which the star card is about hope healing. We have the seven of swords. This is just pre-shuffle. I'm about to lay out a spread. But we have seven of swords, the chariot, and the wheel of fortune. So there's, um, there's, I don't know that I'm feeling hardcore, you know, like hardcore deception, but some sort of um, maybe calculated manipulation, twisting stuff, you know. So hi Capricorn, how are you? This is, of course, for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, it is general. You guys, there's the high priestess. You guys, um... Leave your, con your manifestations and intentions in the comments if you'd like so that it can circulate all over the world with the video, you know, thousands and thousands of times. I love when you write your intentions in there. I will go through and um, add, you know, thumbs up and affirm all your intentions. And if you don't want to write your own, I, I, I like when you write your own, but if you don't want to, you can just say I affirm or I accept or yes, okay, because I'm going to start the comments off with an intention for all of you. So we've got, uh, I mean, you guys have this, an over, uh, extremely strong, strong energy, strong reading. The high priestess, I'm not sure what I'm getting from that yet, but we've got the uh, devil card again. Of course, it's you. Um, I wanted to call you Sagittarius. There could be a Sagittarius involved, but this Aquarius, this tower card, the devil card, and the Aquarius and the star card are super freaking strong. Star cards are about hope, healing. Maybe this is something you've been obsessed with and just really, really hoping to be, you know, vindicated or somebody's deception revealed, something like that. Let's see what that's this high priestess. There's a little bit of a feeling of maybe even some obsession on your, or ruminating on your end. So the, so clarifying the moon is, oh, that's not the moon. That's the high priestess. So that's the sun. The sun is, the sun, I mean, but look how it slides into that. Isn't that mean, interesting? The sun is, um, it, it's things illuminated. It's, it could be hope healing, which we would have twice here. Growth. So what did, what, what's the high priestess? The high priestess is someone who's aloof. She doesn't, she's psychic, she knows things, but she doesn't really have to brag about it. She doesn't say, you know, too much. Wow. Seven of Cups. Some options. What's the devil card in the five of swords? Nine of Wands. Hmm. There's just a, I feel magician too, which is good. Now is a really good time. You guys take some time to manifest right now. It's a really good time for manifesting astrologically. Um, and again, put your intentions and manifestations in the comments or at least say yes and we'll you know, keep that circulating with the video. But, um, Nine, nine of, hmm, nine of wands, what is that for? I need the nine of wands. I'm going to lay out an organized spread, ten of pentacles. Okay, so there's been a lot of, um, it's been difficult, I think. Be, something that you've wanted to let go of or that's been difficult, just, you keep like a moth to a flame, maybe keep going back towards it. So let's let's lay out a, a, a organized spread, an actual spread. How are you guys? I hope you're well. Okay, see this you guys 
Okay, so there's a twin flame cycle. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I need to do an extended. I just am trying to get back on the the channel. And you know, I went through some shadow work and stuff and the channel, the the algorithm has like, I just, I'm trying to get the channel back on track and put my all my focus into that. But if there is an extended for this, it'll be below. Even if it's not for this specific one, there will be some extendeds, which I prefer to call almost personals down below. They are timeless and they are amazing. They're my all time best work. Um, and I don't even post them if they don't turn out amazing. So they come through like personals. So there is forward motion towards, you know, let's see how that will apply to this. There's something that you can't let go of. I, I got that moth to flame. Um, another, yeah, holding back, it, it, holding, there's, there's an element of holding back, taking action towards, interesting. Okay. tell me Kathy's energy, Come on. okay, so Hermit and, yeah, holding back, I just said that, holding back, um, you're holding back, probably trying to close off yourself to it. The, the Four of Swords is, okay, you're holding, you're, you're ugh. so here's what's happening, I think. This is a lot to get without the card saying it. We're going to keep going, but I feel like you're holding back your communication, even though it's really bugging you, like you want to communicate. Um, can you guys see this? Let me raise my light a little. You want to communicate and you are having to refrain from it. But it's like then when you get the chance to communicate, is there some like, ew, there's like still some underlying anger or something. Snappy, mad. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, come on. Y'all's energy is so strong. Okay, so the lovers, it's a decision. That's an emperor. Could be divine masculine. Ten of pentacles. So a decision between two people. Definitely a soul connection here, but there might have been a karmic connection too. Uh, I think and I hope that you guys aren't, aren't, are keeping yourselves busy working on your pentacles or your work. Because this is being in your power. This is being in your power. The Emperor, the Aries energy, the lovers is a decision. Could be. Oh, I told you guys that devil card keeps coming out. So that's your person. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look where else I split the deck. Yeah, you've got, a, um, a lot of you have a twin flame. Now, please don't let twin flame, you know, a, a, a connection that you feel like is twin flame, um, is, it's not supposed to hold you back from your other things. It, because separation is not supposed to, you're supposed to grow through separation, not shrink, okay? Not become less. You, the, the, you're not going to bring the union to get you're not going to be kind you're not going to pro progress if you aren't progressing personally you have to progress personally you have to move forward you have to be your best person um one two three four five five major arcana this is crazy oh my gosh hmm. There's Libra, there's obviously Capricorn, there's Aries, there's Sag, and there's Gemini. We also have Leo Pisces. Super strong reading. Your person looks like they are tied to something we're going to clarify. Um, also, this placement is could be, you know, what you cannot see is obsessed, addicted. We're going to clarify um, in the advice section uh, position. You've got self love, self care, and then in the outcome, you've got two of cups. You've got a, a you definitely have a reunion coming. 
cooperation, collaboration. There's another three. You guys keep your eyes out for threes. Pay, atten pay attention to your dreams too, please. The sun card. Celebration, happiness, growth, sun card. Okay, tell me, let's, okay, just real quick, what happened in the recent past? Page of Swords just almost flew out. Maybe somebody, maybe you're mad because somebody uh, chose the wrong person. What's next? Hangman just almost flew out. Page of Pentacles, Apology, I think. Um, tell me about this high priestess. Uh, Cappy, you may be mad because this, somebody, the person that you're really thinking about or ruminating over or wanting made, um, was not as loyal to you as you were to them. I mean, it made you feel like an option. I, I don't think that it was that easy as you're feeling. Okay, so I'm missing something, <laughs> obviously. Let me, let me try and tap into this. So the hangman is seeing things through a new perspective and the, but it's also could be holding back to gain clarity because of options and confusion. So in the recent past, I, I'm not, the Hierophant is truth and ethics and tradition. Sorry, I'm blocking the cards. Um, skimped out, somebody skimped out. There was confusion and, but, uh, Hangman and High Priestess. The Capricorn, does somebody make or uh, somebody tell or um, tell, did somebody block, I, I block you or have you stopped talking to them because of someone else. There's a drama queen in here for sure. And, and maybe this person that you're dealing with is just like not as strong as you and too easily, you may have lost some respect. I will tell you, I mean, there's some uh, manipulative in, uh, energy here. And I keep getting the sun card, Leo. Maybe, um, what's that? Yeah. Wow. The sun card, illumination, deception is going to be exposed. I mean, I don't, just don't see how I can even get around it. Or maybe I'm drawing too many cards. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, star and the moon together. What somebody thought that was, wasn't. It was like maybe somebody made themselves look better. Or I don't know. There's some sort of exposed, some sort of, it could be an addiction exposed, but I don't think so. I think it's addiction is in addicted to someone or somebody wouldn't let somebody go and like had to win at all costs. Um, Use deception to get their way and made it so... I mean, I hate saying it. it sounds really bad, but like convince someone to cut it off with someone else. You, maybe. I don't. Um, okay. Um, okay, let's do a different spread. Capricorn's energy. Wanting to communicate. You're curious. Ace of Cups. Overall energy is a new beginning in life. You may be getting someone new. 
but let's see what's going on with this person. Three cups. So it could be drinking, I guess. How they see you. Tranquility ahead. Ten of pen, ten of uh, swords on the bottom of the deck. Painful ending. Um, how do they view the situation right now? Oh, too many cards. But let's look at them. Two of Pentacles, balancing act. Heavily burdened. A lot of emotion. See that? It's like they're barely able to do it. Deception. Deception. Wow, you guys are in... Your person is going through it. <laughs> this person is going through a lot. Um, what are their next steps? They're going to communicate with you, I believe. But they're a little fearful of it. Cycle completion. That's good. Okay. Uh, what is hidden? What's behind the scenes? Uh, scarcity mindset for... Okay. So you can't see, but this other situation is falling apart. And it, I, for a lot of you, it might even involve a marriage, a high-level relationship. This is always twin flame for me. The dandelion, y'all's energy is super, super strong. I think I already said that. What's the outcome? Tell me more about the outcome. I need to shuffle. There's tension building there with, you know, someone else and someone deceptive. But it's just increasing, I think, a desire to get out of there, to be happy. Why do we keep getting that high price? Why do we keep getting a high priestess? Other than there's, I mean, the obvious is that there's something hidden. Hmm, reclaiming who you are. All you need to do is believe in yourself. Reclaiming who you are. Never give up on something you really want. Bubbles, goldfish. Amber. 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 Oh, 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 oh. So I think the uh, high priestess might have to do with investigating, like wanting to know. Do they know or do they know? About... The past or return. Hmm. Prince of Wands taking action. So somebody is looks like they want to come forward, but they're in the somebody is really going through a lot. And there's a huge karmic cycle happening here. What does Capricorn need to know? Oh my gosh. See, it won't stop the star card. Why do I keep getting the star card? Hopes, healing, um, balancing out. I'm missing something though. Three cups. Hangman again. I don't know, you guys. I hope this made sense. It was confusing. Um, I just don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to leave. Well, let me get you an oracle because hopefully you guys let me know. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to post these uh, reading because it's like didn't make sense to me. But I have to remind myself it's not. It doesn't have to make sense to me as long as it makes sense to you. What's happening here is 
what's falling apart that you cannot see with someone else is I think bringing someone too closer to you. So, um, oh, I know. hold on. I feel something. Okay. Compassion. I feel like maybe there's a need for you to know not to be angry or show anger towards this person because they need a safe place when they reach out or maybe there's a need to let them know if this is your story if this person if you got you know gypped by somebody stealing someone away or your person being misled to or tempted or something like that and they reach out it may be counterproductive for you to you know not be just real sweet and open open to them because I think that's what's holding it up. There's a need for compassion. And um, the Dalai Lama said, and I was weird because I was saying this out loud before you're reading. The da Dalai Lama said, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, it kind of makes sense now. The Dalai Lama said, if you want others to be happy, show compassion. If you want to be happy, show compassion. So it says, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on love and light that's within everyone. So, I mean, one way if you're really struggling to like not brew about what somebody, how someone wronged you, that per, uh, that third party or whatever, one way that I has helped me in the past when I've been wronged is to say, you know, every uh, just remind myself that everybody has different experiences and everybody's trying to get their needs met. Now, some people's needs are selfish, right? And just me, me, me. But even at that real extreme level, there's typically something going on in their brain chemistry that's amplifying, you know, the the take part of their brain and not the it's it's there. It, I know, I know. I mean, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying, try and find a way to um, to be compassionate. Not to be a doormat or get walked on, but to be compassionate. Also, I'm feeling threes and twos. So, and two, 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 and then two, 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 three, right when I said that. So, focus, um, not focus, but watch out for those numbers. You know, threes represent a lot of things to me. They rep twos are decisions, right? Everything is a decision. How you decide to, how much time you decide to, to spend on worrying about it. Um, you know, we can easily say, I can't help it. Yeah, we can. We really can. I, I mean, it really could go either way. It's really up to you. It's hard, but it's a decision. So that's the twos. And then the threes. Um, threes have been real, pulling real strong dream energy for me lately. Dreams are pro uh, dreams. Threes are progress. They're, uh, but additionally for me, they are pulling a ton of like dreams, fantasies. Make sure you think about things in the way that you want them to be instead of the way, instead of thinking about things in the way that you don't want them to be. Um, so keep your eye out for twos and threes. Put your intentions in the comments. Let's manifest. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye, Captain.